We're a vacation rental management company and effectively what we do is uh, we take hot um, homes, apartments and we make them into ho ho uh, hotels. Okay hotel rooms so we give the hotel experience we give a better than a hotel experience uh, but staying as if you're staying in your own property um, we like to compare our properties to presidential suites and suites of five-star luxury hotels in the Middle East so we have three bedroom four bedrooms penthouses mansions villas and uh, it comes fully serviced so we offer a butler we offer cooks we offer airport pickup drop-offs we offer nanny services dream it and we'll offer it all right great so it looks like BNB me is something that I'm going to use as an example for the shared economy model that we are moving towards. But how exactly is this different from the Airbnb model that already exists? Oh, it's completely different. Um, Airbnb is a platform. Okay. So it's um, it, what happened was Airbnb started off by a guy called Brian Chesky in San Francisco, and he rented out his air mattress in his room to people coming to San Francisco to stay. Okay. Now, we use Airbnb as one of the online platforms to sell our apart properties. Okay. So people go on to Airbnb, they look at all these different properties and then they come to Dubai and they book it for one night, two nights, five nights. With Airbnb, you have Booking.com, Expedia and the traditional online online travel agents. Okay. So what we do is we manage the properties. So you could compare us more to a, a hotel management company. So we take care of the property, we offer a service to the guests and uh, an experience to the guest. All right, so basically uh, whose properties are these that are being converted into hotels then? Individual investors and... Uh, now we've started talking to a lot of developers. Um, as you know, in Dubai, a lot of these uh, developers have got stock lying, which aren't selling or renting out. So they fit it out for us. We take care of it. And, you know, we have no contractual obligation. So if they sell an apartment that is in our hands, that is being managed by us, not a problem. We move over and manage another one and they can sell it. Okay. So you did mention there's no contractual obligation. So that brings me to regulation then. So now we're talking about a market which is fairly new. Not a lot of people are aware of the intricacies of it, essentially. So uh, is, is this essentially regulated? If it's not regulated, what is the safety then? Um, there's a famous word in German called Jein, which means yes and no. Um, there is regulation, but it's not it's not mature enough. It's not sophisticated enough, um, as in as in the West. Okay. And as a matter of fact, we've been consulted quite a bit, not only by, by by government authorities, but also by developers on how they can increase the value of the properties in the communities while still allowing investors to invest and short-term rent. So so to long story short, there is regulation. It's at a very primitive mature stage and we are helping and consulting developers and governments fine-tune it and improve it for themselves. All right, interesting. So how many of these units do you have right now? We have just under 50 properties in Dubai. So what is the pricing st structure then? Uh, we have properties that start from $100 a night okay. and our most expensive property at peak season probably goes for about just over $10,000 a night.